a reminder. On August 29th, 1533, just 200 people took over a very, very powerful empire of 10 million. <laughs> 200 people. A warning I'm giving to you people, if you all, each house do not become strong, the same will befall on you. Be careful. Do not wait for the leaders to take care of you. You the day you don't become strong, you blah 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 blah. Talk about nationalism. We are destroying our country. Listen to this. August 29, 1533, the Inca people named their empire. Land of the Four Quarters or Tahuan Tin Suya, and in 1533 it was the largest in the world, largest empire in the world. Can you believe it? Covered 2500 miles and stretched from southern Colombia in the north to the central Chile in the south. It rose between 1200 and 1380 in the valley of Cusco, an increase in temperatures allowing the Inca to inhabit ever higher altitudes and produce agricultural surpluses. The astonishing site of Machu Picchu is evidence of this. The empire successfully built a road network of 14,000 miles and 10 million people lived within its borders. So how did a mere 200 Spanish conquistadors capture its emperor god Atahualpa and conquer an entire empire? In reality, a number of factors brought down this powerful empire. So wealthy, contemporaries remarked that its people walked on sandals lined with silver. Since the arrival of Spanish conquistadors in the Americas, Western diseases have steadily weakened the native po populations. The Inca Empire had been especially struck by smallpox, which had reduced the population by an estimated two thirds and claimed the life of Atahual. Kualpa's father, the emperor Huana Capac. After his father's death, Atahualpa had waged a civil war against his half-brother Huascar that lasted six years. A war he had only just won when he encountered Francisco Pizarro in 1532. Pizarro and his small foes of mercenaries were cleverly inspired by the success of Hernan Cortes in Mexico. In a daring ambush on November 16, 1632, Pizarro and his men surprised Atahualpa and his lightly armed followers in the town square of the city of Cajamarca. In one hour, they shot and killed 5,000 of his men, sparing only Atahualpa himself. Pizarro had realized Atahualpa was more valuable to him alive than dead. With Atahualpa captive, his generals did not dare to attack, and the emperor then convinced his captors to ransom him for a room filled with gold and silver. Once the treasure was gathered, the Spanish refused to release Atahualpa and gave him the choice of being burnt alive, a pagan's death or to convert to Christianity and have the kinder death of strangulation. Atahualpa chose the latter and was garroted on August 29, 1533 and given a Christian burial. Various accounts have his remains later dug up, mummified and reburied. With Atahualpa's death, the empire collapsed and the Spanish consolidated their power over the Inca by marching onto the capital Cusco and installing their own puppet emperor. A famous hoard of treasure that never made it in time for Atahualpa's ransom supposedly lies hidden to this day in the Andes. The city of Machu Picchu remained undiscovered by the Spanish and was eventually abandoned by the Inca. Its existence became widely known only when it was rediscovered by the American explorer Hiram Bingham in 1911. <laughs> Just 200 people. Like how India was taken over by a bunch of gangsters, banks, bunch of thieves in the name of invaders, called themselves 
as emperors, mm -hmm. took over our temples, plundered and looted the Suchindranath temple. <laughs> loot. And they only came to loot, to rob and rape. Yes, three things they did it. And we were mute spectators because we thought our kings will take care. They did not do it. 5,000 years passed. After that, invaders after invaders came. 200 years under the British, the French, the Portuguese, the Dutch. And still we have not learned. We are only screaming. We have not made ourselves strong. We got attracted by them. All that glitters is that gold. <laughs> All the lights in the cities got attracted to the cities and living like dead bodies, living like worse than slaves without proper sanitation. Get out of the city, move out of the city, let the city collapse, let it go to dogs. If you wanted your culture to be preserved, if you wanted your identity to be preserved, if you wanted your self-respect, Leave the city, go back to your land. The land has got value. Even if you got no produce to sell it, you got produce to it. The earth is provided enough for man's needs, but not for his greed. Earth is provided enough. Do not worry about it. As long as you know to share it, you have, you have already studied enough. So you can share to the neighboring districts, neighboring states, give and take policy. Yes, technology has also improved, but cities are destroying you. You are working very hard in the cities to only feed the barbarians to keep on buying weapons after weapons after weapons. For whom? For what? Just an ordinary corona disease, a biological warfare can destroy anything and everything. You have seen this one. 200 Spanish people took over a vast, huge, world's biggest empire within one hour, within one hour, without a single shot being fired, without a single shot being fired, our country will be taken over. It has been taken over just by a small person who couldn't even have a weapon. There they had the weapon. They shot and killed 500, 5,000 people surrounding the emperor and they took over. And then they even killed him also. My worry now is on you and your family. Let us together, let us together build our family. Let us make ourselves strong. Just simple thing. Make sure you wake up early morning. Yeah, waking up early morning. Early birds catches the best. Please wake up. I'm begging you, please wake up early morning, 4.30. By 5 o'clock, start your asanas. And when the Surya comes, Surya Namaskara. You go to the land, you feel the love of the land, you become strong. There won't be any disease at all. If you're going to the city, make sure, rush back to the, your land, into the villages as fast as possible, every week, every month. Retire like the, like, retire like the military. The military, they allow you to, as a soldier, for 15 years. 15 years, if you want to make for, as fast as possible, over time, anything, do not go for entertainment. Make money as fast as possible, 15 years, but rush back to your land, rush back to your land. Land is the power for not only for you, but for our country also, to defend our territory. Otherwise, again, another one invasion will happen. We have seen another invasion without any guns, the coronavirus invasion. They almost destroyed not only us around the world, but you can find corona is very less in the villages, very less in the, only clusters in the villages. Villages have been threatened and frightened that you leave your land, and then go and sit together so that politically, politi politics, politicians wanted to misuse them, use them. They keep begging for the water, but they are not allowed to stay right in the center of the land, thinking the robbers decker is coming along. There are devils, no devils, no robbers. Sit in the center. Build your land, building right in the center of the land and sit in the center. Which robber come? You become strong, you can fight. Yes, you have the weapons, whatever you're using to cut the grass. That is a weapon, the hand is a weapon, the body is a weapon. Together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. There's no hunger at all. First of all, we are all masters in our land. They are dragging you into the city. 200 people, can you heard that story? 200 people took over a vast big country. This country can again fall into such a trap. This is my 161st shot.